Friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to the front lines of the 1946 Last Grenadier mod for Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostrunt. It's good to see you all back as we continue taking a look at the legendary big missions as we then again take a look at a mod that has returned from Metawar Assault Squad 2, but in a much different format. German forces all around Norway continuing to defend random sections of Norway and a secret research base somewhere. There's a whole story to it, but I'm going around to some of the more interesting missions, particularly those around defense of massive defensive lines and bridgeheads, and in this case, a giant castle. Well, good to see you all back. Welcome aboard. These mods are incredible, and so is the mod community of Metawar Assault Squad 2 and Call to Arms Gates of Hell and the standard Call to Arms as well. So for those of you who may have recently gotten the game during the Steam Summer Sale, make sure you check out all the legendary mods from the modding community. And uh, this is definitely a highly recommended one. All right, well, <clears throat> German troops seem to already be in position fighting against the Soviets that are trying to push into Norway. And we are defending a massive castle against these forces. Looks like enemy forces are pushing in from the northeast. And, uh, well, not too long until we've dislodged them from the position near the road that they seem to possibly will be defending. I'm not sure why there's German forces here. <laughs> These uh, troops are out of our control, uh, but they're defending what seems to be like a little bit of a... At least something that the Soviets will try to use for cover. A rock formation there. Random troops under our control. We do control a bunker and several vehicles, too. I think we have access to a panther and some artillery. And lots of defensive guns. Hey, a 3.7 centimeter flak and a big O 8.8. .8. Flak 88, good for vehicles, of course, and or just taking care of lots of troops that have bunched up. Oh, enemy forces now pushing in from the north side. PPSH is in hand. Pretty soon we'll be seeing more enemy armor, so the infantry shouldn't be too much of a problem, but the infantry uh, will be in great numbers. Vehicles will be tricky, but we'll uh, keep some troops in reserve. We're going to keep purposely some infantry off the line to replenish losses for the eventual constant attacks of the German, or rather Soviet forces on German lines. What do we have here? Looks like a, uh, oh, you know, interestingly enough, looks like we got a lot of Soviet equipment too. So our forces more than likely have a mix of more than likely Soviet PPSHs and maybe some other late war MP44 combinations, that kind of thing, you know, STGs. All right, let's go ahead and move around and see if we can get this gun to a position around here. Try to get this centimeter, uh, 3.7 centimeter flat gun set up. Oh, it wants to fire. I see. Back that into position there. These mods are fantastic. The base game itself is very, very good, very detailed. Some very good DLCs that include a lot more in terms of vehicles and equipment, but also the mod community just going well beyond that and just adding... Things like, for example, American troops, and those aren't even in the game yet, but the developers of, uh, of Call to Arms Gates of Hell are bringing in a U.S. faction very soon, which means that we'll more than likely see the British at some point, and also uh, Western German forces, too, around, in and around D-Day, as that uh, DLC will feature a lot of the Normandy campaign and Operation Overlord from 44. Right, a lot of our German troops here just kind of chilling. Spread them out a little bit. Going to try to do as much babysitting as I can. You all know my greatest uh, frustration with this game, of course, is dealing with constant uh, wounded troops that, you know, just are sometimes hard to heal and having to micromanage things like medics is a little bit of a pain. All right, SU-76 pulling up. 76 millimeter band cannon, essentially. Ooh, and getting hit by what looked to be artillery, but maybe a direct hit from the Black 88. Is it reloading? That would be this one here. It is reloading, so it must have fired and clipped the side of that SU. Looks like he's wanting to fire again, but the tree is in the way, so let's go ahead and sneak up a little bit and let him have it. Well, that should have been a hit. Sometimes firing through the trees like that is a little strange. All right, let's go ahead and fire again. All right, let's go ahead and try to hit him. There we go. That looked like a direct one. Now, in the game, the year is 1946, so primarily we should start to see a lot more heavy tanks that are more common. But uh, the biggest nightmare will be things like the 
Probably T-3485 that will likely come across the frozen lake or river over here. This is crazy. What a great modded map. Really just looks fantastic. I would like to see more things around like Leningrad, for example, and earlier things in the war from the developers. Uh, a lot of the campaigns that we particularly see are around some of the more famous battles on the eastern front. Uh, towards the, uh, just before Stalingrad and the Battle of Moscow, but particularly a lot afterwards, and especially uh, around areas like Poland and Romania and Hungary and whatnot, uh, towards the end uh, in some of the DLCs. But of course, the Winter War DLC being added for Finland for the Continuation War, Winter War, and Lapland War against, like, the Germans and Soviets continuously. And, uh, man, yeah, Finland had a fight. Finland certainly had a fight. Oh, that's interesting. A T-50 coming in. I believe that's a modded vehicle. I don't think that's in the base game. Cool to see it. A little scout tank, essentially, that'll rip, zip, and dip. And we've, co of course, got one of the better vehicle uh, units in the game. The Lee Gun. This thing is fantastic. From uh, the first days that we started to use it in the Rob's Realism mod, this thing is great at lobbing HE and heat rounds pretty accurately at enemy vehicles, though this T-50 is going real fast. But now he's done a, a bad thing and basically stop dead in the middle of the, the field. Hopefully that crew can clip him. I'm going to try to level this gun out. Maybe we can fire and hit the top of that turret. Oh, nice hit. I think... Oh, yes, nice. I think that was a heat round. But it looks like he's equipped with... Uh, and I think he was firing HE rounds. I don't think he switched to heat and then back to HE, but regardless, that's good. An American made M3 coming in. Little scout car. Soviet forces with the Browning 50 cal up there. And our flat gun should be able to rip right through that. Yep. No problem. All right, we're defending the left flank for like another three minutes. This castle defense gets much larger than this. There is a quite uh, expansive position behind us and more towards the south side of the map. Mm, now we're starting to see a heavy vehicle. There we go. IS-2 on the field. 1944. And with about two minutes left, that is not a sight we want to see. We've got one vehicle maybe that can deal with that. Flak 88 there might be able to hit that. If the crew is moving in a sideways pattern. Not sure exactly where that is. I think it's behind the rock there. There he is. That was a good hit, but he's still moving. Armor is nicely angled here. Oh, good good hit there, too. Oh, look, you can see the uh, penetration in the side of the armor. This is great right here. Excuse me. There we go. Looks like we got him to a stop. And we have a little peek at the engine. Oh. They still don't see us. That looked like it went right through the engine compartment. Hit him again. Possibly fire starting in the engine. Getting hit by what probably is Panzer Foss now. Trying to knock out the gun. Now he's still active. Not sure what they're trying to prioritize there with that turret. Well, look at that. What the hell is that in front of us? Oh, nice. Turret is dealt with. Look at this. <laughs> 
It's a little Koopa wagon that looks like a Panzer 3N, but it's got a Panzer Shrek and the little machine gun on it as well. Oh, cute. Never seen that before. All right, we are done with the defense on this side according to the countdown timer. I'm going to try to bring up some of our troops now or maybe see where the expanse leads us. Keep that flak 88 where it is. Some of our troops dying there. But overall not bad. AT gun will eventually penetrate that armor. No matter how many times they hit that, it will crack eventually. There are finish units here too. Speaking of which. Alright, now to defend the second sector. A lot of these missions in this mod are fantastic. A lot of great uh, offensive missions in swamps and uh, areas uh, that are kind of closer to Finland that are a little more marshy and just difficult to move through. Lots of little factory regions and such. And then, of course, now more towards the winter. Oh, boy. Stand our ground now for 10 minutes. Uh, we now have a Flak 88 at our disposal. That's a good... Oh, two. Two of them at our disposal. MG there. Wow. Didn't realize that was a captured... Uh, heavy MG. All right, let's spread the infantry out if we can. Got an AT gun here. And again, we're going to try to keep everybody back as much as possible. <clears throat> if we're going to uh, succeed here, we're probably going to have to limit the number of troops on the front line for artillery, and then if they hit us, uh, we can fill those gaps in again. One of the things to worry about most is really having too many assets on the front line to where artillery and or just random amounts of uh, gunfire can then destabilize the front because you'll run out of supplies. Some of the troops are not under our command, so we'll kind of just mix in with them and see what we can do. All right, is that artillery or a mortar? Mm, I hear a vehicle approaching. Another M3 scout car. Left flank is doing well. Those tanks have basically stopped dead in their tracks. I think they may have been tracked or engines may be damaged or destroyed. They're trying to cut through those defenses, but we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that section there. Let's go ahead and go up top and try to slow them down. We still need to defend there. Now, what do we have for the castle? Ah, oh, there's the castle ruins. A little bit of a stronghold there for us. The high ground and whatnot. Oh, and that flak, or a flak, hitting them pretty good. May have been our flak gun. That thing turns, rips, and dips pretty quick. 3.7 centimeter is fantastic against a lot of vehicles and a lot of infantry. In fact, it could even take down this, the T-3485, if you get a great shot at the side. But now it's coming right in. We'd, well, yeah, we have access to artillery. We'll let that kind of continue to fire off on its own. Enemy tanks are maybe trying to repair, but I don't think they'll be able to do that. And now we're dealing with the T-3485 for the first time, coming in fast. He's probably going to get hit by a Panzerfaust any second. Oh, there it was. Right in the front. 3.7 is certainly distracting the crew. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn. I wanted to take direct control of that gun. and I don't know why it turned backwards on me, but... There we go. Now let's see if we can take that turret off. Uh, that's done. Alright, we got more enemy vehicles inbound. Looks like another T-34. Game's fantastic. The ability to go into first person on guns and vehicles. And be able to see what the crew sees. 
really immersive and helps to take some uh, more accurate shots. Darn. Ah, well, the 3.7 is damaged but not destroyed. We'll go ahead and let the crew repair. T-34 is really ripping through. Oh, and our Flak-88 is out of ammo. Anti-tank crew should deal with that shortly. <laughs> wow. Oh, that vehicle was destroyed. Or the crew was killed, but they kept rolling all the way through. Interesting. And look at this. We've got ourselves a uh, little gun on skis. I think this might be from the uh, Finnish DLC. I don't think I've seen that before. Well, maybe I have. I don't recall that. Cool to see, though. All right, well, now we have ourselves a T-34 we can repair. And nicely stored in our back line, so we should be able to repair it without too much trouble. Getting the 3.7 back up. How are we doing with ammo here? Rounds are getting a little low. I don't see too much we can transport around. I do want to keep these smaller ammo boxes for the troops. As that's what it's going to come down to. We just don't have supply. But we are holding the front lines. Another four minutes to go. That is it. Ah, yeah. 122. All right. Heavy tank destroyer there. Not great to see that. That thing's a real bunker buster, too. And very difficult to destroy from the front. Well, depending on what you've got. If we can hit their gun, that'll shut them up for a while. Maybe we'll hit a track and flank it. There was a vehicle rolling in quite rapidly there. Another T-34 destroyed. Ah, 1941 model. Wow. Ooh. 1940 well done model roasting there quite quickly goodbye love the secondaries like that first saw that in the Rob's Realism mod and developers probably saw that too and were quite impressed and put that visual effect in with the ammunition cooking off sometimes there could be a internal explosion there and the turret can rip right off and yeah the AI seems to really like to take cover in your tanks that are about to explode so you know not really complaining. All right, a T-70. Oh, how cute. What a win uh, interesting little mix of, like, uh, you know, 122s and IS-2s and then, like, a T-70 rolling up. Looks like the 122 has been disabled. The crew has abandoned it but still occupying it. I'm not sure why. Infantry ready to go. And we'll put them back into the... Uh-oh. That's going to be too close. Panzerfaust, there it goes. Nice. Good shots from the Panzerfaust. All right. Yeah, a weird mix of enemy tanks and vehicles, but luckily they're close enough. Is that an IS-2? Now another T-34. I do want to push up a little bit and try to capture those vehicles, though. Ooh, the IS-2 got too close into our lines and got destroyed. I want to hold that high ground, though. This area's been breached a little bit. But I really want to capture that IS-2. It is repairable. Let's try to cover that guy. Eh, that's good enough. All right, about a minute and a half to go. Just infantry on the road. Should be good targets for the artillery. Wherever that may be. Mm. See if we can get some shots there. Oh, just two rounds remaining. Another T-34 crossing the lake. 1943 model. And this ISU is 
kind of destroyed. It's not really doing anything. The crew is... Yeah. And it looks like it did successfully get tracked. So that probably made them change their minds. Oh, we got a Panzerfaust. Let's see what we can do with that. That's a long distance to shoot, man. Wow, good hit. Well, it is uh, damaged with its turret. Oh, and a T-34 kind of walking right in the 43 model. Oh, silly. So many gifts for us. It's nice. Soviets are nice. Giving us T-34s, IS-2s. Second sector defended. And now I assume we expand south for even more fun. Wow. Hmm. Oh. Hey. It did expand to the south. And now we got Nebelwerfers. At first I thought we were getting hit by... <laughs> I really didn't want to see us getting hit by the uh, big O Stalin's... Uh, Organ, but the. Ooh. Yeah, Katusha's would not be a good thing at this time. I'm trying to find where that might be. I heard it. Don't see it in our our listing yet, but. Alright, so far left side's pretty much cleaned up. Dead stop here in the middle. With the uh, 122 kind of just disabled and not really doing anything. And now we push to the right side. Now, the artillery on the left that we had before probably won't affect us much here. Maybe the Flak 88s can fire over here, closer to the front line. But this is going to be interesting. The Soviets are probably going to try to throw more armor at us, and they certainly won't be able to get through this area here by this bridge. And might have some trouble in some of these areas here. So, based on what we've been seeing so far, we'll be seeing IS-2s, T-34s, and maybe something a little crazier. Oh, wow, look at this. Man, some of the light stuff the Germans use so interesting. These mods give us, and, and the new DLCs, give us a lot of these lighter units that are just packed with literally pack guns. And, uh, you know, we, we get things like the, the Puma that has the non-turnable pack 40 on it and whatever. There's a lot of designations for those, but really cool. Wow, the Germans having <laughs> some Osprey here, basically. Look at that. I think the story implies that... Uh, this group is trying to reach a research site in the far north of Norway, and they're trying to bring supply to it and other units and stuff like that, and so the Soviets are continuously trying to stop them and or find where this research base is. It has something to do with, um, you know, like an Arctic base, and uh, there's like a base in the north of Norway that helps to supply that or works with that or something along those lines. All right, I don't think we can really fire over this line here. Maybe I can back this flat gun up over here. Oh, there goes the Nebels again. I think at this point, German troops with Panzerfaust are going to be way more effective. Alright, well, we'll try to put our gun over there to the uh, far right side. We've got some supply here in a truck. Which actually seems to have a... Oh, it's a lantern there. I, I thought there was a gun in the back. That would be cool if we could put guns inside the trucks. We can tow guns with small trucks and vehicles, but... It would be nice to be able to put machine guns in there and transport them to the front. Alright, Pack 40 is doing a good job chipping away at enemy tanks. Coming down the road towards the bridge. This is where they will have some trouble trying to cross. This bridge also might be able, we might be able to destroy that bridge and stop them from crossing. In real life, it's just made of wood. In the game, it could be an uh, indestructible object. And again, the Soviets coming with their M3 scout cars, deploying troops there. And it looks like these guys are a little tougher. 
Yeah, Red Guard infantry. These guys are no joke. They're much more trained than the regular riffraff coming our way. Hoo hoo, another hit on that T-34. Great. Oh, and tracked, and the crew has abandoned it. Fantastic. Another wave of infantry. Oh, these are NKVD political officers. Or at least this guy is. The equivalent of the modern-day HR. Oh. And, oh, I, I was going to say IS-1 pushing through, but a KV-85. How strange to see that. <laughs> and my favorite, the Ziz-30. That thing is fantastic. Slow, clunky, but you can hide it in a bush. I've had many a multiplayer kill with that one where people, uh, just like the Spanish Inquisition, nobody suspects it. And then it does its thing. All right, good spot to put this. Oh, we got a little machine. Oh, wait, what the hell is this here? Oh, a little recoilless. Um, well... Yeah, in the words of Ronald Reagan, well, let's go ahead and push up on the right side with this and see if we can flank something. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this just hidden and see if we can take a shot at something. Wow, KV-85 getting clipped hard. I did not expect that thing to explode immediately when it reached the front. I don't know what could have stopped that, but... t 34 is coming to that middle section again. And uh, let's go back to where we claim some vehicles now. They should be repaired by this time. And let's see if we can grab at least the T-34 here. And, uh, yeah, great thing about this game that you can capture vehicles like that just at a moment's notice. We'll try to take this IS-2 and kill the other IS-2 and then make our way to the ISU-122. Oh, and we also have a T-34 here. I'm not going to capture that until that... IS-2 is out of the way. It could just immediately blow it up, so it's ready to go when we are. Ooh. Alright, a little, little out of range. Oh, are you trying to get in there? Alright, we're loaded with HE, which is not great. But we can switch to... Oh, boy. Well, I mean, you know, side shot like that could have killed them. Crew inside. 122 millimeter. Two hits there from the Flak 88. Look at that. And... I feel we don't have a clean shot here. Now the turret is too high up in the air. There we go. Just a trank round to put him to sleep. <laughs> and he is indeed asleep. Okay, you know what? The ISU I'm going to just skip for now. Let's just get our tank in a good position. I think right up here will do. And same with the T-34. Good thing this is so far in our back lines. Wow, look at that. Can easily navigate between those trenches. Hmm. T-34. Ah, oh, it's such a cool scene when they break through like that. I love it when they come through the wall or over a trench. And then it is just pure nightmare waiting for them. Although bad for us, too, because now there's a gap in the wall. and Kind of hard to plug against Soviet infantry, but not seeing anything too difficult to deal with at the moment. Now, knowing these mod makers, this is just a little warm-up, you know, stretching the legs and showing you the map a little bit, showing enemy forces, just kind of, you know, coming over for a physical discussion, like a little barbecue coming over for a beer, you know, just chatting. That's all this is. Uh, but if you take a look here, every red dot on the map is an enemy infantry who's down, knocked out cold. And even more further off in the distance, some of which killed by artillery. And a lot of those vehicles now being put to good use for our side. The player. We have this now. Having a little trouble driving there. 
There we go. Man, 500 liters of fuel. This thing's burning through it right away. Oh, boy. Maybe I can get the AI to try to drive better than me. Incoming artillery! Now, where's our tank? Yeah, sometimes you got to do a little babysitting on these vehicles in order to get them through. Unfortunately, that flat gun there destroyed. Now, the only thing that could have helped us there is maybe the, the truck that we saw on the far right. But I'll trade a uh, Flak 88 truck for a tank any day. Okay, we're going to go to the right side now. Oh, they destroyed our flak truck. How sad. All right, now we just need to defend for eight minutes. Enemy Katusha's finally on the front line. Maybe it was the enemy Katusha's firing at us. Kind of weird. I I swear we had Nebelwerfers. They were hitting where the enemy troops were. Oh, you know, it's the Soviets. They don't they don't give a damn. As long as you're killing somebody, you must be winning. Okay, a little damage here and there, but nothing too big. Oh, there's some supply trucks. Okay. Mortars. Nice. Alright, I want to try to... Keep, I'm going to keep this little boy here hidden. And if we destroy this tank, I want to push through and try to get that uh, Katusha out of the way. The battery. Panzerfaust hitting that tank there. It's amazing when you see a Panzerfaust. Wow. Well, friendly fire there, bro. Well, whatever. It's amazing when you see that Panzerfaust hit. Such an incredible weapon. Well, okay. You guys alright. No harm. Take assault tablet. Another T-34 pushing through. Wow. Well, at this rate, the castle's gonna be damn near surrounded. I mean, we're being pushed from north, east, and south. The enemy's in our southwest or northwest sections. It's um, pretty much an encirclement. And our objectives here are just simply to continue to defend, just defending the castle itself. Nothing too crazy. But man, do I love seeing those Panzer Foss kills coming. It's like fishing. You never know what you're going to get. Some of the infantry from the uh, little flat gun there. Mortar firing. Katusha trying to... All that camera shake. Gee, I can't even give a command to the... Okay. What are you doing? All right, our tank was trying to turn all the way to the right. I don't know what they're doing. No, why are you loaded with HE? Oh, lucky us. Friendly tank saved us. The eyes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Back away from that. What are, can we drive through these castle walls? No. So we can't drive through the castle walls. They do provide. Imagine that an actual defense. Enemy tank in the way too is blocking our advance. There we go. Hi there. I don't know why we continue to load with HE shells, but just completely probably through with 
Spalling on the inside killed that crew. All right, well, our tanks are in good spots, right? They're able to shoot over the wall. Enemy can't come over the wall or through it. Lots of destroyed enemy equipment. KV-85 there from earlier. I'd like to get those Katushas out of the way, but they might not be able to fire again. They might just be a one-time thing. we got a little bit more to deal with now. A little too, too many enemy troops. What do we got now? Oh, yeah, SU-76. <clears throat> well, uh, primarily just clean up now, unless we see something major coming through. We have some casualties on the front line, but we have so many friendlies inside the line. Ah, we do have a... Okay, we did have a Nebelwerfer. Sometimes it doesn't appear on the list. Oh, there it is. Yep. A smoke thrower. Ten rounds remaining. All right. Well, three minutes to go. A large number of uh, Soviet troops there. I could call in a strike here. I'd appreciate that. Enemy vehicle rolling up. Interesting to see a scout vehicle get this close. Well, the Nebelwerfer was way off from where I wanted them to fire, but okay. It did get the crew to bail out of that vehicle, and it did get some casualties, it looks like. Got some kills there. Good. Actually, if we take a look, we can see over in the left side, I think, somewhere where the weapon has kills. Is that it? 14? I'm not sure. Two minutes to go. Uh, wounded on the front line. I want more infantry under our control to go and rescue them, but I just don't have those forces, and so I'm going to prioritize the tank defense. Oh, Katusha is firing. It's hard to tell whether or not those vehicles will be able to fire again, because... You know, if you, if you don't see them on the racks, it's hard to know if they have, like, an internal inventory of, like, you know, zero rounds or what the case may be. I mean, the, the second one is now ready to fire. Oh, and they're bringing in flamethrowers. I think we're in a rather decent spot here. Unfortunately, we're tracked, so... There, that brought him down. So I'm not sure where the enemy is attempting to push to. I want to bring over some infantry, but it's... kind of a mess as to where everybody is. Oh, we have some vehicles here the whole time. A Tiger, a KV-2. It's time to wake the Tiger, I think. Don't really have a... I don't think I have a tank crew around for that. No, we can't call it in. Vehicles there, I guess, are undergoing maintenance. Oh, this guy here. No, drop, drop the MG. Don't need that. Ah, we can wake the tiger. Wake the tiger, baby. Let's go. We'll get that mostly for its MG. Interesting. We have some Falsum Jaeger on these emplacements. I would, I would have much rather have known that earlier and put them on the front line. But in this case, the tiger will awaken. 
and we'll be able to push back that little uh, northeast section here a little bit. Southeast section, right in the corner. But our tanks are doing just fine. IS-2 destroyed, but T-34, uh, and that's a position that's plugged now, so the enemy has to come across the top on the outside of the line. Or our artillery is more than ready to pretty much stop them. Nebelwerfer should be able to hit that. Recovered Yag Panther tank destroyers. Oh! Friendly forces are backing it up. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I can't control those. Well, I'm glad now that we have the Tiger ready to defend those forces. Well, that's a shame. Panther there was destroyed. I don't, I didn't even remember a half second ago if we even had control over that unit. Uh, so they asked us to recover Yag Panther stuff. We have some flat guns out there. Wow, look at the tiger. King in the castle, y'all. So they want me to recover that. So what we can do is have this crew jump off. Uh, Falsam Jaeger again. Whoa. All right, the crew is just uh, wounded on that. Oh, of course. The moment we get it, it's clapped. Well, I wasn't too hopeful about that thing. I was going to try to drive it across the bridge and go this way and get up here, but I knew it wouldn't. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't last too long. Oh, some friendly units now suddenly appearing here. I guess let's get on those guns. Yeah, a panther would have been nice, though. That frontal armor on a panther is just outstanding. The egg panther, even better. Go ahead and get up, get up here and defend that unit. Uh, what's our next objective? Well, that was a secondary objective to recover that vehicle. Oh, more trouble. Well, well, well. Defend the castle. So I'm assuming now we're going to see one final giant onslaught from perhaps all directions at once. And defend the headquarters at all costs. Wow. So now we got access to ooh, a lot of tanks. The final big battle is going to begin soon. And that'll be in our next episode. So don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Welcome to all the new members, new subscribers. Glory to Raptoria down below. And I'll see you for the big final defense of this beautiful Norwegian castle. Don't forget to watch. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.